After the Shanghai upgrade. Is this the most critical moment of the Ethereum sell-off? What will Bitcoin do? If you are interested in these topics, please keep watching. Bybit is having an event. After paying a deposit worth 100 US dollars. After completing KYC, know your customer. You will receive an Ethereum position worth 1,000 US dollars. After the Shanghai upgrade, Bybit is having an event of giving Ethereum positions. After a deposit of 500 US dollars after completing KYC, you will get First, click the link down below to sign up. You will be brought to this page. You can either open a long position or a short position. You will be set up automatically. The profit from this position can be withdrawn after closing the position. There won't be an issue at all. A deposit of 500 US dollars will get you a position worth 1000 US dollars. This is a steal. Okay. Right now, we start with Ethereum. Before we take a look at Ethereum, we can look at some statistics. I summarized the data for you. Let's have a look at token unlocks. It's going to list out a lot of news related to token unlocks. As you can see here, there are 1.46 million Ether waiting to be unlocked. The unlock has been confirmed, but they are currently locked. They are still waiting. There are 1.46 million Ether. Up next, let's have a look at the stats. On the left, the net staking balance. What does it mean? First, we look at the withdrawn section. It shows how many ETH have been withdrawn. They were pledged, but are now withdrawn. The amount is 356.33 thousand ETH. Since they can be withdrawn, the pledge will have no problem at all. The amount of ETH pledged lately is 221.09 thousand. So the amount involved in the sell-off is around 130 thousand ETH. That's 130 thousand ETH. However, we are going to go through a major unlock at the moment when it comes to token unlocks because of the fluctuation concern about the secondary market. There will be an unlock schedule. It's going to be done within a block, a time frame, and in different batches. There are different unlock rules. Those include exchanges or agreements. The entire ecosystem of Ethereum will set withdrawal limitations. Now, look at the chart on the right. It's very important. You can see four blocks here. First off, the yellow block. It shows the withdrawn. Principle. It means withdrawing your principle. The principle is the multiple of 32 Ether. You will know if you made pledges. This is why people who make pledges always buy Ether in the multiple of 32. So, what is this? Withdrawn reward? It's when you withdraw your interest. Okay, based on this chart, the withdrawal of ETH can be divided into two forms. The first one only withdraws the interest. The principle is still intact. Only the interest is withdrawn. That's totally fine. It's shown in this orange block. If the principle is withdrawn, along with interest, the amount will be reflected in the withdrawn principle and withdrawn reward. You might notice that in the recent past, the withdrawal situation wasn't as serious. When will the greatest withdrawal be made in the future? It will be a few days from now, which is around April 16th. It matches what we said earlier, that it had happened three to four days after Ethereum's Shanghai upgrade, a few days after April 13th, which means April 16th and 17th. So, we can check again on April 16th and 17th. The yellow part shows the amount of principal withdrawn. The orange part is how we speculate. How much interest will be withdrawn? And how much principal will be taken? It will peak on April 16th. So, you should pay attention. If Ethereum, the sell-off caused by the Shanghai upgrade, wasn't as bad as people had thought at first. First, there were limitations to withdrawal. Secondly, people speculated that the price would go down. We expected a major sell-off. But, now the price has gone up again. It's a pretty substantial increase. If we look at the outcome, the sell-off from Ethereum Shanghai upgrade hasn't affected the price. But it's very likely that, as of recently, the most critical sell-off hasn't occurred yet. I think the true critical sell-off will happen on April 16th and 17th. Only then can we know for sure. The sell-off from Ethereum Shanghai upgrade will be most serious. We must pay attention to the price on April 16th and 17th, and not the price right after the upgrade. The rule this time is different from before. The rules are different for every Ethereum upgrade. There are some stats here. 
I've shown you. There. Is the APR. It's now 5%, which is slightly lower. Now, we look at Nansen's data. Nansen is a data website. I use a lot personally. You can see it here. I think you should. Take a look at the chart. It compares. The ETH deposits and withdrawals. The yellow parts show the withdrawal amount. You will notice that. A lot of withdrawals have been made today. Previously. Right after the Shanghai upgrade. When there was a buying frenzy of Ethereum. There were more Ether in reserve. Then they unlocked. It explains the new wave of the ETH buying frenzy. Which is related to supply. When there are fewer Ether on the market. The price will certainly go up. Let's take a look at another stat. The Shanghai upgrade. Will be beneficial for Ethereum in the long run. There is no issue at all. After the Shanghai upgrade. Personally. I'm very likely. To invest a lot more. In the near future. I'll distribute more of my assets to Ethereum. We are seeing coin burns and pledges. These are means to reduce. The circulation. Of ETH. With reduced circulation. The price of ETH will increase more easily. Because many Ether. Will have been burned. Take a look here. In the past. Seven days. In just one week. We burned 5,800 ETH. Over 5,800 ETH. And then, the pledge can be withdrawn. So more people are willing to pledge. So, these things that reduce circulation, in the long run, will no doubt benefit Ethereum. But in the next three to four days, we are likely to see the greatest sell-off after the Shanghai upgrade. Now, let's look at the Ethereum chart. After the recent Ethereum buying frenzy, the trend has come to a halt. The trading volume isn't remarkable. Okay, first we take a look. At the resistance. I talked about this yesterday. The role reversal. I think this breakthrough isn't anything special. But personally, if I want to trade. I might wait for 3 to 4 days. It's April 16th and 17th. It's already. April 15th, right? If the sell off. Yields any major effects and escalates. And the price goes down, this is where I'll be. It's somewhere about the 1,900 US dollars mark. Then, I'm going to buy back. All the ETH. I sold. Back then. When the price was around 1,800. I sold some in batches. This time, I'm buying them back. I might even average up. And I wait for it. To rise up in price. Of course I kind of missed the opportunity. But it's not that bad. Let's see how much the price. Will drop in the future. Take a look at the daily candlestick chart. Judging by the chart. We can't get any. Confirming or clear information. Now, onto the small period. There is a price drop here. Look at the price drop. If you compare it with the unlock schedule, you'll notice that the time frame overlaps. In other words, this price drop was caused by the unlock. But the price went back up again. So let's observe. On April 16th and 17th, when more ETH are unlocked, the sell-off becomes more severe. What will Ethereum do? Alright, thank you. You're welcome to like and share my videos. And subscribe to my channel. Turn on the little bell button to show me your greatest support. Thank you so much. Bye bye.